tonight at 6. A Dane County pastor will spend the next two years in prison after a jury found him guilty of instructing his church members to use corporal punishment. That is tonight's top story. Good evening. I'm Eric Franke. Sarah is off tonight. Through his trial, Phil Caminiti maintained he was sharing God's word, but a jury found his teachings on using wooden dowel rods on infants broke the law. Mark Levicott in court today has more on Caminiti's sentencing. Mark. Yeah, Eric, Dane County Judge Marianne Sumi said probation only today was not enough as his defense wanted. She said Philip Caminiti's demeanor in court, his attitude that he has done nothing wrong and the seriousness of these crimes all were reason for her to order some jail time. Prosecutors asked for five years in prison and 15 years on probation. Instead, the pastor will serve just two years in prison and then six years on extended supervision. The pastor's attorney argued of child abuse, this was the least severe and a lesser penalty was more deserving. Prosecutors, they did not agree. There's no reason to lock this man up. He's been an asset to the community. His family has been an asset. His children see service to the community and to, they see helping other people as the goal. He teaches people to hurt infants and children and steadfastly holds to these beliefs in spite of all of this. Caminiti did speak in court today before he was sentenced. He did not apologize, rather asked the judge to allow him to be with his family when he is released on probation. Judge Sumi agreed to that, saying he will be allowed to be with his wife, his kids, and grandkids when he is released in two years, but no other family members. Many of the victims in this case are related to Caminiti, as the church in Black Earth is very small. Caminiti was taken into custody immediately today after the hearing, Eric. Certainly an unusual case. Yeah, Mark Lovacott. Thanks, Mark.